ladies, it's me. wasn't sure if this was working. I think I took a picture as well. You know what I'm like. Oh dear. Right. Sorry, it's. I meant to came, come on earlier this week and um, had hospital appointments and waiting for doctors. Oh, I like that. And all that belarmy. So, I've um, finally getting me act together. Half has gone out. It's Friday. He goes to see um, John across the road. He's 90 odd. He's my ex father in law and he goes to have a. A pint, him and another neighbour. Go and have a, a chin wag and um, a can or two with him. So uh, that's what he does on a Friday. And I try to keep myself busy. Now I'm not showing you that first. The first thing I wanted to show you is this. Because this, I'm sorry BD, Betsy Doodle. I did tell her I was going to be doing it on Tuesday, I think I said. But... Tuesday I couldn't get round to doing it. Wednesday I was out all day. So, and it's now Friday and I'm finally doing it now. So, this is a, was a collaboration because I've pinched a bit off Betsy Doodle and I've pinched a bit off um, Marsha ZZ Creations. And I love their idea of these simple but very effective concertina wallets. Wallets, paper cord wallets. So, um, I'll open it up and that's inside. Okie dokie. So, they both did the um, back to back with envelopes after slipping off a bit of the front. They've got brilliant, they've got brilliant um, tutorials both of them. So, pop along to see them and um, They'll show you how it's made. Um, as, oh, what I yeah, so I did that. Off Marsha, I pinched the idea of strengthening the corners. So I've got some duct tape with like caravans on. So I used that. So I like the colours in that as well. So I used that. Now I wanted to strengthen the tops. Um, and they're sticking together now. There we go. Um, so what I had was some material, I think I got it from a pound shop or so that's why this receipt's here to remind me to say that, pound land or somewhere, and it was, it, or it could have been the works, anyway, it was material stuck on sticky back paper, and I tried to use it that way, but the minute I ripped it off, the sticky back, not on this project, on another one, it just all crumpled up. I couldn't get the piece of material to lie flat and it was all wrinkly and, and what have you. But they are pretty colours, as you can see. So I thought, right, I'm not going to use it for anything else I can think of. So I cut it up and used proper paste and used it as um, strengthening pieces for along the top of the envelopes, which I think has worked very well and, it, you know, the colours are all pretty. I then um, did a bit of a mess with, I tried some of that, you know, strip magnets. I wanted it to, I didn't want to tie a thing because um, I wanted something a bit different. So I, I wanted magnets. Now I tried that strip magnets and I apologise to Silly or Elaine because I know I've put a piece on one of the little gifts I sent her and I was just trying to use it on this and it's rubbish I'm sorry I'm sorry Elaine but I think it's rubbish I don't know if it'll stick to the fringe any better but it wouldn't stick this together at all so I had some tiny little magnets but they're quite strong they're very small so but with messing about I ripped this bit of paper I ripped the top bit of paper and I've got no more of this um, wallpaper so that's what this is at the front by the way is wallpaper and I tucked it in can you see I tucked it in there a bit um, and then just wrapped it all the way around but I had no more I've used the last of it so this is a little bit from oh, a French what's it called no that lady the French lady with the big buffet hair anyway from that paper pack um, oh, it was 
I can't remember her name now, but anyway, it's Pretty Little, uh, The Gilded Lily or something, is the name of the paper, I think. Magnificent, The Queen and The Queen, anyway. So I put that piece there to hide the magnets, and they say I made a mess here. So I used the last piece of this material on there. And I thought, well, that works, and now... It fastened good. I was only experimenting. I did show it on Facebook, I think, somewhere. This um, uh, piece. I was just experimenting with flowers, but with sequins in the petals. And then what I'd seen on YouTube or Pinterest was they'd put um, like a French knot in the middle of each um, sequence. So I thought oh, I'll have a bash of that. So I did that. Then I made up a little uh, beaded bud, for want of a better word there. Filled the centres with little tiny beads and um, and slight ferny leaves at the side. Um, it was a rubbish little bit of uh, material. I don't think I was going to do anything with it so I thought well I might as well lose it on here and it gets used then so then of course I had to go make a border and then I had this last little bit of uh, I've been hoarding it's quite pretty little pink fringe with uh, dangles and uh, I thought why not can't keep things sitting there but it can be forever so that's my concertina and at the moment that's going to be for die cuts, little pieces of die cuts that I've not used but I, I might use in future date <laughs> yeah one of them <laughs> so um, that's what's going in there so I think I will be making another for um, for other little bits like um, Valium pieces I'm doing and that for cards so and as I, said, I've, I've, I pasted all the back and front with um, Mud Podge just to give it a bit of a wipeability because I'm a messy messy person in my craft room. So if it gets on this, it's, it's hard luck. But if it gets on this, at least it will wipe off, won't it? So that's my collaboration with Marsha, ZZ Creations and Betsy Doodle, who's D. So um, I think it's a lovely creation that. So I'll be, I'll say I'll be doing another. So that's that, that one. And then I wanted to just show you. I don't think I've shown you this anyway. Um, oh, I, did, I bought a new case. It's not exactly the one I want. And I didn't like it when it come. But I thought, oh, it'll do for now. So I've just I stuck bits of um, embroidery on it. And I embroidered a butterfly. And then I've smeared him with um, paste. You know, to, to put some... Make him solid like. And I put a few little sequins around, so I've got some hearts there. So it's it's, it's a bit nicer than what it was, but it's, it's not my favourite cover. But it'll do for now. It'll do for now. So um, so that's that. And then this, which I've been doing, let's get the bowl of little oranges, so we can see it. I think. Hopefully, let me just check that. Oops. Get up. Uh, I must have got it too far back, haven't I? Uh, so this is another crazy, crazy quilting uh, inspired by stuff um, Sonia Steptoe does in Australia and um, oh, I do love doing it. it because it's such small pieces so you can make them as small as you want and um, I started this quite some time ago and I didn't like it. I didn't like the colours I was using. I'd, I'd done better ones. And then I found this little bit of embroidery, which I did, I did this embroidery a long time ago. Again, I do all my basic embroidery on little scraps, so they don't really fit anywhere. And it wasn't even nice enough to go, you know, the right shape to go on a card. So, but once I put that on, and then I put a peach ribbon flower there and a ribbon there and that I started to like it a bit more so there was a bird here 
say a little sparrow so I've embroidered over him just to in enhance it a bit and uh, it should have been a bit more in the middle shouldn't it but I didn't know I was going to embroider him when I joined all the bits up nice bit of velvet there which have uh, rippled for want of a better expression like rippled along there and put a bit of gold work gold thread along there I hope you can see this. I'm very sorry for um, I'm having to do downstairs because I've got no lighting upstairs in my craft room. So not a lot's getting done at the moment. But Arf has treated me to a very late Christmas, uh, a late Christmas come anniversary gift. And he's bought me a proper lamp with magnifying glass etc. So that's due any time. And I can't wait. Because uh, it looks like it's going to be lovely. And I'll be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> to be a bonus, won't it? Mm -hmm. So, my embroidery work there. I had lots of little seed beads. Um, I embroidered leaves there. And then just one side, I did sequins. Green sequins. Um, lots of beadwork and seeds there. I did pom-pom flowers here. They're very easy to do. I'm going to show you sometime. Little pom-pom flowers. So I gave the little girl, which I've embroidered, a little pom-pom flower on top of her head. Uh, just a little scrap material, but I did embroider a flower on her dress. And a little zigzag. And a pocket. And I've given her a little hat of beads. And as I say, that pom-pom. And a little bit of hair, nice little red hair. Then a nice heart there. And just loops. Um, I did it in gold, uh, what do you call it, bullion work around the outside of this heart. And then to match the back of this, I used that colour. Just lots of loops. A bit like what you would for the pom-pom, but I didn't cut them. You know what I mean? I just made the loops. For in there, a couple of buttons. I'd, I'd here and there. Uh, anything else? I've done a little tiny bit of mirror work here, put a little mirror in and um, stitched around it. A couple of little beads on this little blue piece. I hope you can see this ladies. If I go too far we're just not going to be right is it? There, that is. Keep it there. And then um, I think yeah, a little butterfly. I've stitched on. I didn't make that butterfly. It was stitched on. Lots of beadwork around here. And and then to finish it off, uh, I found a nice gold trim for some of the edges. Some of the joins up I've done embroidery work and beads, as you can see there. And some of them, and there, and some of them I've, I've put like a piece of uh, lace or something. And then all around the outside, this lovely gold, very old gold lace give a bit of glitter in so I think that finished it off quite nice, that's the back that's the front so it's quite heavy because you know, once you get all that um, the base material on and then all your other bits of material on and everything so yes, I'm, I like this one a lot better now, what I'm going to do with it I don't know, it could go on a book it could go in a frame I don't know but whatever, I've enjoyed doing it and I'll be doing some more. So thank you very much for watching ladies and um, if you've got any questions let me know and if I can answer them I will. <laughs> and uh, I've noticed I've got a couple of extra um, subbies so welcome, very much welcome and I hope you enjoy some of the little crafts I'm learning to do. And. Um, and we'll see how we progress. So that's it. Again, thank you, BD and Marsha, for showing me how to do that. And, um, well, thank you, Sonia, for showing us how to do that as well. So that's all for tonight, ladies. I'll see you soon. Bye.